hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel guys i highly welcome i appreciate you all for stopping by in this particular video i'm going to show you guys how i made this 2x4 closure using the double knots pattern of regulation even though it's double knots when you look at it you see that the knot is very tiny i'm going to show you guys how i did everything how i got the center pattern how i did the front everything from a to b that's what i'm going to show you guys in this particular video if it sounds like something you'll be interested in then stick with me to the end of this video so my friends subscribers thank you guys so much if you are not to subscribe please hit the subscribe button you won't regret doing so so guys here is the two by four lace closure i'll be making i already marked out my center pattern here is two inches just move one from the third one to the first one and that's your center pattern so i use a ruler to mark it the extra piece i left by the two sides and not a mook is just for the sewing i left that piece i left that extra space for sewing effect so you have to comb your hair okay you have to comb the reason why you should do this so as to get rid of the short ones then when you are done go ahead and pick you can see i'm picking just a you don't need to pick much so that you don't waste your hair and i fold it in a way that one is longer than one if you're following my videos by now you should know the reason why i do fold your hair like this especially when i'm making closures and this is how i fold it i kind of pinch it so that you're able to grab the strands i want easily so i'll go ahead and start venting from the center part okay the line and mark so i'm going with my pin and i pick one to two strands of hair using my venting pin grab the hair let's make my first knot with that second go then i'll make my second knot so this is double knot pattern of regulation we have different patterns of regulation we have single knot we have double knot we have single split knots we have double split knots and these four patterns i've been making use of them if you have been following me or this is your first time you're coming to me stopping by my channel go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos so this is one of them, this one is called the double knot. So I vent on a line and skip the line. I vent on the next one. Then coming to the rows, I skip just the whole. Okay? I'm not going to be skipping just one hole throughout this closure making. Okay, when it gets to a point where I need to change my spacing, I will do that. Okay, so you need to stick with me to the end of this video so that you don't miss any important time. So I'll continue like this till I get to the place you saw a mark. Okay, I just mark out it's more than half inch but not up to one inch. Okay. So you see that point there, the place I mark with my pencil, I'll continue like this till I get there, keeping one line and one hole. I'm making use of the double knot pattern of the regulation. So I'm going in with my pen, I pick one to two strands. Okay, remember you're making use of double knot, so you shouldn't pick too much. Okay, that is the secret of getting a very tiny knot even though you end up nothing but you're not to be the tiny the secret is picking lesser strands of hair not much so when i'm done with this side now moving over again i'm going to change my ventilation pattern now 
the first one we did was the horizontal vertical pattern of ventilation now and switching to a different pattern of diagonal this is the diagonal pattern so i'll be going from here now in a diagonal frame i'll continue like this till i get to the place with max and center pattern and if you notice you see that i am not skipping any hole like I told you guys, when you get to the point where I don't need to skip holes, I feel it you guys know, and this is it. I'm not skipping any holes here. So when I'm done, I'll have to skip a line here without skipping hole. I skip the next line, and then I event on the next one without skipping any hole. So guys, it's important you don't skip any part of the video. Do not skip any part of the video if you actually want to get 100% value from the video. Then do not skip, so you don't miss any important part. If you follow me to this point and you do not like this video, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe, like this video. If you have any questions or you are confused at any point, let me know in the comment section, okay? So I will continue like this till I go next to my center asking. Then I will show you guys how I am going to create a very perfect center pattern that is very very fun. So guys, keep watching. So guys, coming to the center pattern now, I have different ways by which I create my center pattern and this one is one of them. So what I'm simply doing now is to vent all the holes on the line. Remember we mark the line for our center pattern. So all the holes, I'm going to be venting all the holes. What it means is that both the holes on the line side skips, okay. Both the holes on the one side skips are still venting. I'm venting all the holes, that's what it means. And this thing I'm doing now, when I get to the other side, the left side of the closure, I'll still repeat the painting. So this is how to create if you want to get that tiny. Center, but I don't like my center pattern being too old. Say it being tiny. So this is one of the ways I always do that. If you follow what I'm showing you guys in this video, you will get a much better result, a really much better than mine. So this is when I'm done, how far I have gone. Alright, the next thing I'm going to do now is to do the front side now. So here now I'm going to still change the different pattern of ventilation style. So I went on a line, I skip the line, I went on the next one, I skip the next one, not skipping more than two. Preferably just a kind of I already told you guys the secret of safety, the tiny knot, even though you are double knotting. Okay, so coming to this here, I have to be venting on the lines I skip. Okay, this pattern is called the in between lines pattern situation. If you don't understand what I mean, please check the description of this particular video. I will share the link of the video, a ready video on two ways you can do 
during the January Partner Session. I'm simply working on the ninth of eight. If you watch closely, you see that the hairs are falling in between each other. And that. So when I'm done with him now, I'll go ahead and give him on the lines. Simply event on the lines with it. That is why it's called the in between and pattern of creation. I'll just do this like three to four times and I'm done. And this is how it's looking. Can you see how natural, how pretty is? Even though it's double knot, it's still very, very tiny. Okay. So I'll go ahead and repeat the same thing I did to this right side now. I'll repeat the same thing with the other side. Okay. Just the same thing. No difference. Repeat the same thing. That's just what I'm going to block. And when I'm done with that, this is exactly what we got. This is the final product. Can you see this? Double knot and feeling looking so tiny, beautiful. Look at the center pattern. Everything is looking so perfect. Just follow what I show you guys in this video, and you get the exact much better not even over results you get much better results see the hairline see how natural is looking thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and see you guys in my next upload bye and i love you guys